Welcome back to Let's Read Judge Dredd. Today's episode is Midnight's Children, and I guess it's just Midnight's Children. Um, I can't remember part, what part the last one was, so... Uh, whatever. Midnight's Children part something. The Great Atom War of 2070. Oh, wait, I know. This guy's talking, okay. Great Adam War of 2070, I made my fortune from military supplies, but I lost my wife and my legs. To keep her memory alive, I had myself cloned. Johnny was a good boy. A, a little greedy, maybe, but a good boy. Mr. Midnight, sir, are you all right? What? Ah, uh, just daydreaming, Arnold. The uh, lust of violence, it taints us all. Take me, one of the richest men in Mega City One, and how do I spend my time? Arranging bloody massacres. Well, take them, some of the city's most uh, up, upright, respected citizens, so jaded it takes blood and gore and death to excite them. It's not natural, Arnold, to uh, enjoy violence like this. The uh, Infliction of pain and suffering on fellow human beings, sometimes it makes me sick. <laughs> oh, nice one, Kevin. <laughs> then now, ladies and gentlemen, the highlight of the evening. Alone, unarmed, Kevin will pay, face much the much feared underclass juve gang. Showtime, geeks, you're on. Heck, heck Gimpy, what are you, what are you, what are we gonna do? Twenty ninety nine. Oh, twenty ninety nine. I lost my arms in a mutant gorilla attack. To celebrate my survival, I had another child. Nimrod was such a good boy, a little disturbed. Maybe, but. These days, who wasn't? Message from the butler, Mr. Midnight. There is a judge dread to see you. Blessed. I hope, I hope Nimrod's not got himself in any trouble. Have him shown into the upstairs lounge. Carry on here, Baldy. Oh, jeez, we can't fight that. Get in there. Give me. Hey. Come on, freak underclass ain't afraid of you. Maybe you shouldn't antagonize him, Gimpy. Antagonize? I'll annihilate the bastard. Ah, uh, Judge Dredd, sorry to keep you waiting. Not as uh, sprightly as I used to be, I'm afraid. Won't you take a seat? No? I like the idea of human furniture. Can't say I've much use for it myself, but it's fashionable and I like to do my bit for unemplo the unemployed. So what exactly did you do for one Cosmo Wilkins? Who? The stiff I found in a van leaving your garage. Further, you can tell me why your son Nimrod, now deceased, went... On a killing spree tonight. Nimrod? Dead? And why your other son Johnny, also deceased, had better than a billion creds stashed in his office safe. Johnny? But my boy is dead? I, I don't believe it. Believe what you like. You. Wheel him out. We're going downtown. As... Sorry, Judge, but I'm programmed to protect Mr. Midnight's best interests. I hardly think going downtown with you qualifies. What the truck? You'll pay for this. Are you all right, sir? The, the dead, Arnold. My boys are dead. I have only one son left. Get me back down to the arena. I want to see that judge die. 
All is too smooth, can't get a grip. <coughs> Sweet Jesus, it's ripping him to shreds, Gimpy. Womp. J Judge Dredd, he's dropped his gun. This is where you get yours, ugly. No, don't. Kablam! Crack, crack. The balcony, get out! Crack! Ah! Ay! Oh my god! Rrr. No! Ah! Ah! Brute's going crazy. Pity that creep didn't didn't know the gun was programmed for my palm print only. Could use a little high X right now. You people, get out if you can. I'll handle it. <clears throat> wasn't supposed to do. Wasn't supposed to do this the easy. Don't suppose you want to do this the easy way. And I figured not. Get him, Kevin. Teach him a lesson. Wham. That's the way. That's the way, Kevin. Damn, he's too fast. Ah! Take him. Now, kill him. Kill him. Kill him. No. Kevin, no. Stay back. Arnold, get me out of here. Hurry, for God's sake. Very good, sir. <laughs> Kevin, please, you mustn't hurt me. You mustn't. I'm your dad. I'm your dad. The Apocalypse War. I lost what was left of my body thanks to East Mag nerve toxins. I had my third son while I was... While I, I had my... I had my third son while there was still enough of me left to clone. Kevin was a good boy. Unfortunately, he was also a bloodthirsty mutant. Da. Da? Yes! I'm your father, please! My life support! Kevin, please! Da da! Damn thing isn't finished yet. Drog. Yeah, I know. Have mercy. You're an orphan. Uh, missing person squad's gonna have a field day. That brute must have killed a hundred. Must have killed hundreds of juves. Yeah, cozy setup. Johnny and Nimrod run the club that recruits audience, while Fubar and Maggot provide Kevin's victims. Guess it proves the old adage, the family that slays together stays together. Yeah, until death do them part. The end! Alright, well thanks for watching, and I hope you'll join us again next time.